Hello guys, welcome back to our Laravel 6 proof application. Our part 2, I have shown you how to insert data into our database by the help of uh, Laravel with a bootstrap model. So in this part 3, I will show you how to fetch the data from, from the database to the table here. So our last part, I have inserted one data into our database. Let me show you that. Here is our data. Our last part, we insert this data into our database. So our this part, I will fetch this data from database to our table by the help of the model, okay, and the controller. So let's go to our code. Okay, here's our code. Let's uh, open our controller. Open your controller student controller then inside the index function here let's remove uh, this one first because I will try it then I will make one variable here make it a uh, student variable then I will assign the variable with the array so the array will be student so after that I need to assign this uh, array with the model then the model is student like this so i will use the, the order by function so that i can able to have our data in order okay in ascending order so i will use the order by function here so inside the order by function we should have the two parameter the first parameter will be the id and the second parameter will be the ascending ascending order okay like this so in this front we say ascending and the first parameter we say id so after that i will use a uh, one function called uh, paginate now it will help us to assign few columns into our tables like if you want to have a uh, few few columns into your, your table you can able to use this uh, paginate function so that, you, so that you, you can have the the amount of column you want so i will enter here the amount should be three lines if you have a few students into our table then it, it will bring the next page okay so <coughs> i close this thing like this so i will pass this student variable into our view here so let's pass it like this so let's add here order by because i forgot about that one order by like this let's save our page now let's go to our index page here so inside in the index page here uh, after the dt body so i will pass here one for each function then let's pass here for each function for each for each variable students okay at variable key I'll assign the key the students okay the variable student <coughs> <coughs> so here let's end the for each here like this and for each so inside this TD we will fetch our student data from our database just so that we can able to so our uh, data is into our table here like uh, into here so the name will be here the last name will be here so i will put here one laravel expression so i will i will i will call this uh, student then i will assign it with the first name because we have into our, our database we have the names are uh, first name last name okay let me show you that into our database yes our database and you see we have first name last name gender country city and address so i will put this name so with the help of this laravel expressions okay so i will do like this then i will assign this to them not students but students okay and i will make it like this last name
Okay. So on this one, I will make it like. Gender. So I will copy this so that we can able to work our project first because it's already late night here. So I'll make this thing first. So here is it. Then I will change this uh, this one to country. Country and this one will be the city and the last one will be the address. So we have this, and above here, I would like to put uh, one TTD here, so that we can able to know how many rows we have into our table. So I will use this expression here. So I will use the key variable here, so that the, this key will count how many uh, rows are into our table, so that we can able to show our rows into these numbers here. Okay. So let's this thing so before going let's put here the link so that we can able to have the pagination function so how to do that just write this uh, expression it's all the same expression but I will not use the student I will use students because here we have the, the main uh, variable is students right right now we are not inside the for it loop so we are outside the for it loop so I will use the main variable called students okay so let's copy this students here and let's come on paste this student here so it will be like this and let's use a one person called links so is the links so inside the link it will be like this then let's save this and let's go to our page and try to refresh and see refresh Define variables, students. You see, I have problem. Let's use the students. Why we have this undefined variable, students? Okay, let's check our our, our error. Let's go to our project here. Okay, it's no students, it's student. So I will change this into students. Okay. Because I don't put here S before, so now I have put S there. So let's save it. Let's go back to our index template. So let's change this into this and let's save it. Let's go to our page. <coughs> let's refresh it. I think our error will be gone. So let's refresh. Okay. So now you see we have our data here, but our name is not coming. Let's check what's our name. First name, okay. First name. I, I don't put here S. I don't know what's wrong with me. Maybe I'm sleeping. Like this. Okay, we have the name here. We have the the number, the rows that we have in our our column. We have the, we have only one row here, right? So we have one row. So if I add, uh, if I add here uh, another student, for example, I can add another student like this. I can add a, a belly, belly Jones, <coughs> belly, belly Johnson. Then the country will be U S A S A. Okay. Then the city will be. So the address will be something like uh, this one. Is this one? Don't worry. So the she is male, female. Then I save this and see. Let's see our table. Save. See our table. See we have two records in our table here, right? So our table is going fine. I can able to add another one here, then I will say mm, PP, then we are good. Okay, then framework. Here will be 
version. Here will be version 6. And the others will be new. Because is coming. Then I will say good example, right? So let's save this and see. We have three here, right? We have our records uh, affect our data from the database. Let's let's try to refresh this database. <coughs> you see, we have a record of the ID is one to three. Then and here as well, we have the same record here, right? So let's uh, add our edit button and the uh, the show button, view button, and the delete button here. Let's go to our code. Then inside this, let's remove this. Inside this TD, I will add one a, a tag here, like trust. But I will add with the button okay and the uh, the class will be btn btn uh, <coughs> one for our and btn does small to make it small okay so inside here i will use so okay so let's copy this let's copy this copy and get done paste it two two times okay so it's here so the other one will be edit and this one will be delayed button so here will be To be here. so this one will be in flow. Then let's check it. Let's save this and go back to our project, our browser. <coughs> let's have a refresh and see here. You see, we have our buttons here. We have three buttons here. We have the first button is show, the second button is edit, the last button is delete. So I will stop our video here. So that in part 4, I will work on the edit button and the show button so that we can able to fit our, our data by ID and edit them, update them into our database. Thank you so much for watching my videos and if you don't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for more latest updates. And if you have any doubt or any comment about the video, please do comment in the comment section. I'll be there for you. Thank you so much.